Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my extremely simple makeup look for today. I wasn't going to put on makeup today, but um, I wanted to go to Sephora to put um, the stuff aside that I want for the vibe sale tomorrow. So the vibe sale starts on uh, Tuesday and it ends on Monday. So tomorrow is Tuesday, the, um, April 18th, so make sure you guys... Um, know what you want and happy shopping. I hope everybody gets what they want. Um, so I went there to put aside the stuff that's on my list and like I said, I wasn't really intending on actually really going anywhere today, but um, now I, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't get sold out of the um, Vizart eyeshadow palette, but, but, I might not get the full size one. I might just get one of the little um, six uh, quad, like the little ones that have like six eyeshadows in them that are like $45 rather than like the um, $80 one. Because there's like some really nice ones for $45. Bucks, and then there's also the petite one, which is $30. So I just thought this would be a little bit, you know more affordable and a little bit nicer. I wish that the Theory one that they just came out with was um, a little bit more neutral, but I'm thinking about just getting um, one of these instead of buying the whole palette. Instead of like spending the 80 bucks on the whole palette, I was thinking about just ordering this and then getting the other highlighter that I want and still getting everything that I actually want to get. So and they have, they didn't have this in the store, but the one that they have looks really, really pretty. And I probably would use this quite a lot. And I just really want to try out the eyeshadows. So if I decided to do that instead and I removed the Visart palette, it would be a lot less money. And then if I um, added the Makeup Forever highlighter, it would be a little bit more, but you know, um, it just wouldn't be as expensive, and I can get these two items rather than the one palette, you know? So, I think I just might do that instead. So, it brings it down to be a lot cheaper in the end. So, and then I can still get everything that I wanted from the sale. Oh, I forgot about adding the lipstick. So anyway, my uh, makeup today is was super simple because I, like I said, I wasn't planning on going anywhere. So I did something extremely simple. I just, um, all right, that's that's doable. And then I can get eight items instead of six. I'm gonna be a, like a lot better haul. So anyway, um, I concealed with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the color Fair, and I only put it under my eyes, on my eyes, and just like a little bit down my nose and a little bit around my mouth. I didn't put any around this area or anything like that. I just popped on some blush. So, And then I just set my face and my T-zone with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then I just put on a little bit of the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on the top. And then I just brush through my brows with a spoolie and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then um, I just put on a little bit of blush. Of course, I just used NARS as Madly because, you know, I didn't really feel like wearing bronzer today. So I just popped on some blush. And then, of course, I couldn't resist and I still popped on a little bit of highlight and I just used NARS as Hot Sand. And then I just, I didn't even use the um, Hourglass Powder or the Smashbox primer water because I knew I wasn't really going to be wearing my makeup for that long. So I just popped on a lip color and left because literally all I was going to do was mascara and lipstick, but I was like, yeah, I had like bags under my eyes today, so I was like, I got to put on a little bit of concealer. So that's all I did. And then for my lips, I just primed them with the NYX lip primer, and then I just filled them in with the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in Beach Babe. Oh my god, I really like these lipsticks, so that's why I want to pick up another one at the Vibe Sale, because these are really, really nice. I really have been enjoying these, so I think I'm going to pick up another one. So, the only thing is that if I pick up this, or if I pick up the Smashbox Concealer, I can't pick up any more makeup after that. 
So I have to decide whether I'm going to get this lipstick at the sale or if I get the Smashbox concealer at the Ulta 20% off because that's literally like the only thing I want. And like I, uh, I think I mentioned this before, I just love this packaging so I love like holding this, but um, the Ulta 20% off is going on as the same at the same time as the Sephora Vibe sale, but there's definitely more stuff that I want from the Vibe sale rather than... Um, from uh, Ulta, and the only thing that I was interested in, <coughs> sorry, allerg <coughs> allergies, um, let's just see, hold on, that's too expensive, I'm gonna have to wait on the other lipstick, I might not be able to record my haul for a little bit, It's gonna be 278 times 15 percent is 4170 minus 4170 236 30 times 0 0.087 25 mm, yeah it's too expensive if I get um, the lipstick too so I I don't know what to do I was thinking about leaving out the makeup forever highlighter that would make it less expensive. And then I would still get the... But it's just stupid to get the lipstick at the same time because it's like... It's not like I'm saving that much money on the lipstick, you know? Like, I'd rather get, like, the more expensive stuff um, during the sale. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. But, yeah, since I really have been liking this formula, I kind of wanted to pick up another one. So, yeah, um, what I just wanted to say before um, I'm go I go, I had to, like, search for somebody to help me at Sephora today. Like, usually they, like, come up to you a lot in the Sephora now um, because they recently redid it, um, like, a few months back. I think it was, like, in January or December or something. And they, like, you know, have a lot more staff now. But I guess since it's Monday, it's, like, since it's a slower day, they probably just didn't have that many people working today. And I just had to, like, search for somebody to help me for, like, ten minutes. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, I'm like, I need help. I was, like, wandering for a while. And I was like, I just wanted this to be, like, a super quick visit and for somebody to just help me with, um, with this stuff. So I either will pick up the lipstick with this stuff and just pick up the concealer like on Tuesday because that, that will literally be like the last thing I buy and then I'll just record my haul on Tuesday instead because I like recording my haul the same day the same week as the vibe sale but sometimes I record it like the day after but I will definitely be posting it in, within uh like this week or next week um depends on if I decide to get anything else but yeah that is pretty much it, so I'm going to go um, because I want to take my makeup off. Like I said, I wasn't intending on going anywhere, so I wasn't even planning on wearing makeup today except for probably a lip color for a little bit because I can't go throughout a day without wearing a lip color. But I'm telling you guys, this is a really good formula. I'm really liking it so far. And it just looks really pretty on the lips, so that's why I was considering buying another one. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I did go out with one of my girlfriends earlier. We went to um, the mall, we picked up her kids and her, obviously, and we took them out to the mall, and we went to California Pizza Kitchen to eat, and then we went to um, Sephora so I could pick up some stuff for the vibe sale, so I'm really excited to share my haul with you guys. I didn't pick up too many things, I just picked up things that I really have been wanting. I mean, I can just show you right now because this won't be posted for a while, so I can just show you. I got um, four items here and then two more items. I got the Visart um, Neutral Matte Palette. I'm going to test this out and see how it is. If I don't think it's worth the money, I'm going to return it. So I wanted to get it and test it out. And if I like it, I will keep it. If not, I will return it and buy something else. So, And then I also got the NARS Bonk Disable Highlighting Palette. Really excited to try this out. And then I also got the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. I just really wanted to get a new high-end foundation. I'm like really excited to test this out. 
So since they discontinued my favorite YSL foundation, I figured to try out a new Dior one. And since the air flash is basically almost gone, I figured to pick up a new luxury foundation at the sale. Because I always do. I always pick up a luxury foundation at the sale. Or at least one foundation. I was thinking about picking up the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation and another Tarte Lipstick in replacement of the Visor Palette and possibly the Makeup Forever Highlighter. But it's like... I didn't really want, I wasn't like dying to get those, so, and I already picked up a foundation, so I just decided to buy this instead. And then I got two liquid lipsticks. I got that Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte and the Marc Jacobs Liquid Lipstick. I'm going to test out both of these because I really have been interested in trying out both of these, so I am going to post check-in and review videos on these. And then the last one is the, the last thing is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea concealer. I've been dying to get this, so I'm really excited to try that. Um, and then probably I'm just going to pick up one more lipstick by um, the end of the sale, and then I'm thinking about just picking up a concealer from uh, Ulta, and that's basically it. So yeah, I'm really excited to share my haul, but I'm not going to be able to record it until I get those two things, so we will see. And yeah, so anyway, today was a lot colder out. I didn't realize that it was like 60 degrees today, but I wore one of my free people shirts. I love this shirt and um It's like a long sleeve like hippie shirt. It's really cute And then I just wore my sweater that I usually wear with everything so for my makeup I primed my face with the um Urban Decay quick fix prep priming spray and the um Stila one step corrector and then I went in with the um God, I have such a stomach ache with the um L'Oreal Infallible um, Pro Glow Foundation. I really like how it held up today. It looked beautiful today. Like, I'm really excited I decided to wear it today because I really like how it looked today. It didn't cling to any dry patches here. It just looked flawless, so I'm really excited I wore it. And then I concealed with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, Rewind Concealer in the color Fair. And then I set my face, of course, with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Foundation in the color 2. I love it. And then I primed my eyes with the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer and then went over that with the same Giorgio Armani powder. And then, of course, I went in with ColourPop's Firefly as my transi transition shade. And then, basically, the rest of the look is all the Chocolate Bonbons palette from Too Faced. I just really wanted to whip it out again and use it. Since I really enjoyed it the last time I used it, I'm like, I want to whip it out again. So I basically just did um, like a neutral eye with a little bit of, I wanted this to be pinker, but it kind of like, the pink faded just a little bit, but I still like how it looked, and I, I don't know, I like how the look turned out. I basically just picked up on this part of the shirt. I didn't really wear any blue, I just really wanted to do more neutral looks again. So I went in with Cashew Chew and Almond Truffle, Almond Truffle first. And then I went in with the uh, shade Mocha on the crease. And then I went in with Bordeaux on the outer corners. And then for the lid, I did use ColourPop's Super Shock Shadow in Weenie. But it wasn't, uh, it wasn't um, pink enough. So I went over it with um, Cotton Candy from the palette. And I really like how it turned out from the Chocolate Bar palette. Uh, the Chocolate Bonbons. And then I went in with Divinity on the brow bone. Same also from the uh, Chocolate Bar Chocolate Bomb on palette. And then I used Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown um, to line my eyes. And then I went in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I don't know. I've just been loving it lately, so I've been using it a lot. And then I went in with the con uh, Maybelline Concealer and then I, the MAC from Prime Rainy Rose. I also used that to mix with my concealer in my T-zone as well. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I highlighted the inner corners with... Um, Sprinkles from the Chocolate Bonbons palette and then a little bit of Liar Liar from ColourPop just to give it a little bit more of a pop. Um, the Press Shadow and then I went in with Mocha on the lower lash line from the Chocolate Bonbons palette and then I went in with the Magazine Play like a Black Lash. And that was it for the eyes. And then I bronzed up the skin with the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. And then for the blush, I kind of like that I warmed up my face a little bit more and did a pink lip with this eye because basically... Whenever you do neutrals, you can do anything you want to your cheeks and your lips. So I was like, you know what, let's just make it a little bit warmer. So I used the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Diffused Heat just because I really wanted to use it today. So 
I really like how it turned out. I really like how this look turned out. And then I went in with the Bobbi Brown highlighter in the shade Pink Glow. But I couldn't resist and I still popped on the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit shade in the shade Kitty Cat because I just love that as a pink highlighter. So I did mix that a little bit with the Bobbi Brown highlighter. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder. Then I started thinking the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Definer in Caramel and then set that with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the NYX Lip Primer and then I lined them with the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Dervish. And then I filled them in with the um, Jouer Liquid Lipstick uh, Longwear Lip Cream in the shade uh, Petal de Rose. And then I topped it off with the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Bestie. And I really love how this turned out. You know the thing that I like about the Jouer lipsticks, even though they're not my favorite formula, I do really like them under glosses because they dry so matte that they won't go anywhere. Like this lipstick dries extremely fast and then it won't move. Like it won't peel, it won't transfer anywhere, it'll just dry and it'll just stay on your lips. So that's why I really like wearing it with a gloss because I feel like it just doesn't go anywhere and it just looks really, really good. So I'm not like a huge fan of creme brulee but this one I really do like and I do like that it's very matte. It works better than some of my other like high-end liquid lipstick when I liquid lipsticks when it comes to putting a gloss over it. I just feel like it needed a gloss just to make it a little bit more of like a peachy tone. So yeah that's pretty much it. I was going to film a video but honestly I'm just like so tired. I don't know I just haven't really been in like a filming mood lately. I still have videos to post don't get me wrong like I have a vlog to put up tomorrow and then I also have a clothing collection video and then my haul for the Sephora Vibe Sale. And then I think by that point I'll be ready for my favorites anyway. So it's not really a huge deal, but I don't know. I just really don't feel like filming. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I did go out with my boyfriend today and I just came back home from seeing him. Even though I was supposed to see one of my best friends today with him, she ended up not really feeling good, so I just ended up seeing him instead because she did ask me to hang out, like, um, a little bit before I saw him, but then, like, um, she said she wasn't feeling good from coming back home from her trip, so I just ended up seeing him, like, usual on Wednesday. So, anyway, um, I just wore this, um denim button down shirt that I really like. I really thought it was going to be a little bit warmer today, but it was like 50 degrees. But you know, as long as I wore a long sleeve shirt, it's not really a big deal. And we just went to go get Vietnamese food. And then we went to, um, we went to, um, this new coffee place that's in his town. It was really good. And I got like this matcha green tea and I'm almost done with it, but I thought it was pretty good. And then we went to Target. So it wasn't anything too exciting, but, you know, it was just to hang out with him. So anyway, I primed my face with the um, Urban Decay Quick Fix Prep Priming Spray and the Stila One Step Corrector. And then I went in with a brand new foundation today because I picked up a new foundation during the Vibe Sale. And I have to say my thoughts on it, but I just have to remember, like, what the exact name is called. Of course, I was just on Sephora.com, and I, like, have to go back to it because I accidentally exited out. Um, just going to my account. Just give me one second. Um, purchases. So I got the Dior Dior Skin Forever Perfect Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 35 in the shade 014 Fair Almond. And at first, when I wore it, put on this foundation, I felt like it was very heavy and very sticky. Like, I felt like my skin was, like, very tight feeling. And I was like, I hope that this feeling goes away or this foundation might get returned because... You guys know I love like weight, weightless, waitress, weightless feeling foundations. Like I can't really stand foundations that feel like you're wearing foundation. That's why I love the Too Faced Born This Way so much. That's like one of my favorite full coverage foundations. So I tried this one out today 
and this makes your skin look flawless flawless like I feel like it adheres to your skin and then it just doesn't move like I think it looks so good right now like it's kind of insane how good it looks and I feel like I don't know it's just like there's something about it that makes your skin look so good like doesn't it look very natural but at the same time it looks like there's a lot of like it's covering mostly everything like my boyfriend wouldn't stop complimenting my makeup today and he hates me wearing face makeup and he hates lipstick he always tells me that he just wants me to wear eyeshadow and that's it um he doesn't really care about like face makeup or and he hates lipstick because then he can't kiss me but he kept on complimenting my makeup today and I was like if it looks good to my boyfriend that means that it looks good so I was like wow I was really like um happy that he liked how it looks so I don't know maybe because I did more subtle face makeup I'm not really sure but I'm glad that he um liked it on me so that's what I wore for foundation and then after I finished all my makeup and once I put on my setting spray, the feeling of like the heaviness and the stickiness went away and now I don't feel anything. I literally feel like it adheres to your skin so it could just stay on your skin and it did not really crease anywhere. It creased a little bit on my smile lines but it really didn't crease anywhere else and once I set my forehead more with a little bit more powder, it looks a lot better than when I first put it on. It just looks really, really good. Like, I'm kind of like, I'm really blown away. I think it looks really beautiful. So I'm definitely keeping this foundation. I'm definitely going to test it out more. Um, and then I concealed with a new concealer today because, like I said, I got all these things from the Vibe Sale. So I did test out the new... Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer, and I got the shade Light Neutral. Now, when I first got Light Neutral, I thought that the shade was going to be very, um, oh, you know what? I think I got the wrong shade. I think it was supposed to be Fair Light, not Light Neutral. But I don't know, like, it looks pretty good, though, you know? Like, it doesn't look stark white under my eyes, and I really like how it looks. It didn't like settle into fine lines or anything, but it did crease uh, a little bit underneath my eyes. But I do really like how it looks. I did enjoy the concealer. I don't have any complaints about it, really. It barely creased um, around my nose. It didn't um, break up like the Tarte Shape Tape does on me, on my neck. Ugh, Remy, you drive me nuts. On my chin or around um, my nose area. So, I don't know. I, I think it's a really nice concealer. So... Yeah, and then I, um, oh my god, I'm going to kill my dog. He, like, turned over. What are you doing, Mr. Poopy? Why are you sitting like that? <sighs> and then, um, I set my face with the Giorgio Armani Luma Silk Powder Foundation in the color 2. You guys know I've been obsessed with it lately. Remy, I'm going to kill you. Like, I'm literally going to kill you. And then I primed my eyes with the Smashbox 24-Hour Primer and then went over that with the same MAC powder. Uh, Giorgio Armani powder, and then I um, went in with ColourPop Firefly as my transition shade, and then I went in with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette today. I just really wanted to use it today, so that's what I used, and I used um, the shade Burnt Orange in my crease first, and I darkened up the crease more with Raw Sienna, and then I went in with Red Ochre on the outer corners, and then for the lid, I used Kathleen Lights from ColourPop because... I just feel like I haven't used it in quite a while, and I've just been wanting to use more of my ColourPop shadows again, so I used that today. It's just, it's still my all-time favorite eyeshadow. It's just gorgeous. And then for the brow bone, I went in with Tempera from the palette. What are you doing, crazy pants? And then I went in with Stila Sail Day Eyeliner in the shade Black, and then I went in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I've just been obsessed with it lately. I can't put it down. Um, and then I concealed under my eyes with the Tarte Concealer, and then I set and the MAC Prep and Prime, I did use the MAC Prep and Prime um, on my T-Zone as well. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Stick of Branding Powder. But I don't feel like this concealer is like, um, like that dark on me. I think that this is a really good shade because, um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I kind of, I feel like I got the wrong shade. I think it was supposed to be, um, fair, I thought that was, it was supposed to be fair neutral. 
but I got light neutral. I'm gonna go, I need to go back and like basically exchange like three things that I got because um, I have to exchange the Makeup Forever lipstick that I got because it's way too similar to this lipstick that I just picked up that I'm gonna tell you guys about in a minute. Um, and then, uh, I have to exchange the Visart palette because I didn't want the neutrals one. I wanted the warm neutrals one. And now I have to exchange the, uh, concealer for a lighter, uh, color. So, yeah, it's all good. Um, and then I smudged Burnt Orange on the lower lash line from the palette. And then I highlighted the inner corners with Primavera. And then, of course, I went in with the Magazine to play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes. Then I bronzed up the skin with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter, and then I did um, uh, lighten it up a little bit with the other powder from the same uh, duo. And then I went in with Max Melba Blush, and then I highlighted with a new highlighting trio today, or highlighting palette. It's just like a trio of highlighters, and it's called the NARS um, Blanc Disable highlighter palette. I don't know if it says like colors in it though. Oh, okay. I used the shades Re Rivage, Rivage, and Sale. Yeah, those, those are the two shades that I used. And this is so pretty, right? Look at that. Isn't that so gorgeous? Like it's one of those kind of medium toned highlights where like it's not too crazy, but it's not natural. It's like in the middle. It's like a medium intensity, and it's really, really pretty. Like, look at that. It's so pretty, right? I, I can't wait to use it more. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder. Then I saw everything the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Definer and Caramel, and then set them with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then for my lips, I prime them with the NYX Lip Primer, and then I line them with the, are you okay? With the makeup, with the, oh my god, my dog is driving. You have to get out of there. Then I line them with the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Subculture, and then I fill them in with the new Marc Jacobs Liquid Lip Cream in the shade um, Fawn Over Me. I've just been, like, really excited for new lip products lately. I just want, like, so many different lip products now. So I tried this out today, and I, I really liked it. I really love the color. I really love the finish. I pretty much love everything about this, all except that it claims to be long-lasting when it's really not. Um, but I love it as a regular formula. I think it's a beautiful formula. So this reminds me too much of the NARS Liquid Lip Covers, though, rather than an actual liquid lipstick, even though this claims to be a liquid lipstick. But yeah, I'm going to go because I'm, like, so tired right now. So yeah, bye! Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I just got back home from seeing Cassie again because she's one of my friends that lives, like, really close to me, so it's a lot easier to hang out with her than it is with other people, and plus, like, since some of my friends have not really asked me to hang out lately, um, since m one of my friends asked me on, like, last Friday when me and Josh were going to the game. Basically, I've only been seeing Josh and seeing um, Cassie, but Liz did ask me to hang out yesterday because she was back home from Cali, but then she told me she wasn't feeling well, so I ended up not seeing her. I just saw Josh, so, but I am exhausted. I need to stop going to bed so late. Like, it's only 7.30 now, so I have no excuse to go to bed late tonight. I have plenty of time to watch stuff, so... I saw her from like 3 to 7 and then I got home. I also brought home the new unicorn uh, frappuccino from uh, Starbucks. You know, like people are going crazy over this thing. It is really not that good, you guys. It's pretty bad. Um, but I brought it home because we both decided to try it and it tastes like, I mean, honestly, drinking it now, it's not too bad. Like, I can drink this, like it's not horrible for me, but it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. It kind of just tastes like cough syrup from like 
when you were a kid. So anyway, I wore my Free People purple shirt today, so I just decided to wear that, just to wear something simple. And plus, I, since I was already running late this morning, because I was supposed to be there at 2, but I didn't get there till 3, because my alarm didn't go off this morning, so I got out of bed at 1, and then I got to her at 3. So I was like, just give me 2 hours and I'll be there. So obviously I had to do my makeup first and everything else, so... Anyway, I primed my face with the um, Urban Decay Quick Fix Prep Priming Spray and the Seela One Step Corrector. I'm just going to use the Seela One Step Corrector until I use it up because I have the replacement sitting here that I haven't opened yet. Um, and then I went in with the same foundation as yesterday, which is the Dior Skin or Dior Star Forever or something like that. What the heck is it called again? Let me just go on my phone and show you guys. <laughs> Give me one sec. I have to go to my purchases. Um, purchase history. Okay. It's the Dior Skin Forever Perfect Foundation Broad Spectrum. I believe it's SPF 30 in the shade Fair Almond. So I used that today again, and I didn't get that like tightening sensation on my skin today. Maybe because I worked in sections this time rather than just putting it all on at once. So I kind of just um, worked it in sections because it sets really, really quickly. So it felt like a lot more lightweight on my skin today. It didn't feel tightening like whatsoever. It felt, it felt pretty good, so I was um, happy with that. Um, so I just like worked it into one section and then here and then here and then here and then etc. So it made it easier to make it more blendable because like I said, this foundation sets so easily. It sets even faster than like the Urban Decay foundation, but I haven't used that foundation fully like on my full face in a while because it's just a little bit too much sometimes. So I usually tend to just um, mix that foundation and then... Um, I concealed with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW15. I would have used the Tarte Concealer, but I had to go exchange it for a different shade because, like I said, I think I have bought the darker shade by accident, so I had to go back and exchange it for the lighter one. What is going on with my lipstick? Alright, it looks fine. I don't care. And then I also used the MAC Weapon Primate Radiant Rose mixed with the concealer, and then I set that I set my face with the Giorgio Armani Luna Silk Powder Foundation in the color 2. Again, still obsessed with using it. Then I primed my eyes with the um, Smashbox 24 Hour Primer and then went over that with the same Giorgio Armani powder. And then I used ColourPop Firefly as my transition shade. And then I went in with all Makeup Geek shadows today because I felt that I have to use more of my Makeup Geek shadows. So I used Creme Light in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Petal Power. Even though I feel like it wasn't really that, was it, is it Petal Power or Petal Pusher? It's Petal Pusher, right? Yeah, I used that, and then I used a little bit of Latte and Mocha on the outer corners. And then for the lid, I used ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Cricut. I've just been really into my ColourPop shadows again, so I used that. And then I went in with Vanilla Bean on the brow bone. Then I lined my eyes with the Seal of Sail Day Eyeliner in the shade Black. And then I went in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara on my top lashes. And then I concealed under my eyes with the MAC Pro Longwear and the MAC Prep and Primate Renate Rose. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then I smudged Petal Power or Petal Pusher, whatever, on my lower lash line. And then I highlighted the inner corners with um, Daydreamer and Black Light, both from Makeup Geek. And then I went in with the Magazine Blake Kick Black Lash on the bottom lashes. Then I bronzed up the skin with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter, which I feel like my bronzer like faded a lot. I don't know why. I only had my makeup on for like four hours today, so I'm just going to take it off after this and relax. And then I went in with the Benefit Box Blush in the shade Hervana. And then I highlighted with the Makeup Geek Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette in the shade Starlight. I just used that shade because I thought that... Um, like a purple highlight was going to be too much, so I used more of like a pinky purple, and I really like how it turned out. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass is the Air Light Powder, then I set everything the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Definer and Caramel, and then set that with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. 
Then I prime my lips with the NYX lip primer. Then I line them with the ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade Lumiere. And then I fill them in with the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Stone because... Um, I always rotate so many of my purple lipsticks, but I wanted to use this one today because I haven't used it in a while, and I love how it turned out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, I'm going to take my makeup off and eat something because I have to have it sit in the refrigerator a little bit, though, because I had it in the car for a while, and then I'm just going to watch the Modern Family. So yeah, bye! Alright, for some reason it wasn't blended properly on my forehead over here but if I wanted Josh to come with us I would have had to be at his house right now and I was thinking about like just coming there and seeing if he was awake but I don't want to make her wait if um, I'm supposed to meet her at 6 30 because the place that we're going to is like 45 minutes away from me and I'd rather not miss an opportunity another opportunity to see her since she tried to see me on Wednesday but then she didn't feel good and then I just ended up seeing Josh and then yesterday she invited me over, but then it was too late. It was like 8 p.m. at that point, and I was like, yeah, I can't come over now. And then today I almost didn't see her because I was supposed to go to his house, and now I don't know what's happening. So I'm just going to go see her, and yeah, I, I that's it. So anyway, um, I wore this pink Free People lace shirt. This is what I was going to wear like a week or two ago when I went out with my boyfriend and my mom like two weeks ago but I ended up wearing that um, free people hoodie and said that pink hoodie with the short sleeves um, I showed that in my everyday makeup lookbook like two weeks before this obviously um, so today I decided to wear it um, just because I've been really into wearing pink eyes lately so I primed my face with the um, Urban Decay quick fix makeup setting prep spray um, and the Stila one step corrector and then I went in again with the Dior uh, oh my god, I can never remember the name of this damn foundation. And I literally just put it away when I could have just kept it over here so I could remember what the heck it's called. Let me just go back to my account for a second on Sephora. And I don't know if I ever say that the shade that I'm in is Fair Almond. I don't know if I've told you guys yet. Okay, purchases. Dior... Dior Skin Forever Perfect Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 35 in the shade Fair Almond. I have just been testing it out to see how it is. It looks beautiful on camera. It, it looks really good. Like from a distance, it looks so skin-like. It's crazy. But up close, I'm not sure if I absolutely love it. I like it, but it's not. It's still not my favorite over the Dior, but I do really like it. So I'm just trying to test it out as much as possible to give you guys like my full thoughts on it. And then I concealed with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer in the color um, Fair Light because I went to Sephora yesterday after I saw Cassie and I exchanged the other shade that I had that's why I wasn't wearing it yesterday because I didn't want to use it again if I was going to exchange it for a different shade and this shade is so good too like it's not too light it makes my under eyes look perfect like and I feel like it looks really good underneath my eyes right now so I'm definitely going to be testing this out more today um but the one I had before had too much yellow in it this one had a little bit more pink in it so it works better with like my fair undertones Oh, I gotta remember to bring my cord with me because I have to use my um, GPS to get there. Um, and then I, uh, it's so far away though, it's such a pain. Like, I hate going so far away to see her because I either have to go to Lake Moriches to see her or I have to go to Port Jeff because she, they used to live in Lake Moriches and then they just moved back to Patchog like a week ago. So she's been staying in Patchog and I was like, well, I'll just come over and see you in Patchog for a while. And then she's like, well, I'm going to be in Port Jeff because they have to take the ferry. And I was like, <laughs> it's like, it's so annoying. Like it's, it's so far away. So, and then I just, of course, uh, set my face with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Foundation in the color too, because I've just been obsessed with it. And then I primed my eyes with the Smashbox 24-Hour Primer and then went over that with the same Giorgio Armani powder. Now I'm hungry again. At least I had a snack like a little bit ago, but now I'm like starving. Um, and then I went in with the ColourPop Pressed Powder Eyeshadow in the shade Firefly, of course, for my transition shade. And then I went in with a couple of the Buxom eyeshadows from this palette. I just wanted to use a couple of the pink tones today. Um, so I just used, oh, I should have used this one on my brow bone. I kind of forgot. I only used three of the shades. Um, I used this one in my crease, 
then I darkened up the crease more with Simply Marlena from Makeup Geek. And then on the outer corners, I went in with this dark brown shade. And then for the lid, I originally used Makeup Geek's Cinderella, but it never really shows up too much. So I went over it with the Lime Crime Super Foiled Shadow in the shade um, 22, I believe. It's one. Of, it's the pink shade in the On Point 22 Duo. I used that just to put some glitter on, and I that definitely helped it show up more. So I like how it turned out. And then I went in with Vanilla Bean from Makeup Geek on the brow bone because I kind of forgot to use this uh, shade on the brow bone. Whoopsie. Um, and then I lined my eyes with the Stila Sail the Eyeliner in the shade Black, but it wasn't really showing up that much, so I used the Kat Von D Ink Liner over it in the shade Trooper, um, and that really helped, like, it show up more and then I went in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara just because I wanted some more volume on my um, upper lashes today and then of course I concealed with the Tarte Concealer underneath my eyes and then I just set that with the Laura Mercier Stick of Brightening Powder and then I went in with ColourPop's uh, Gel Liner in the shade Boots on my lower lash line and then I highlighted the inner corners with um, this shade which is called this shade right here. Um, and then I also just popped on a little bit of Makeup Geek's Whimsical on the inner corners as well, just to give it a little bit more of a foiled look. And then I went in with the Magazine Play Geek of Black Lash on the bottom lashes. Then I bronzed up the skin with the Marc Jacobs Instant Mark Dreamer Filter. Again, I just can't put that down or the Giorgio Armani powder, so I've just been using both of them. And then for the uh, blush, I went in with Benefit's Box Blush in the shade Rockateur. And then just to make it a little bit more pink, I used Too Faced Love Flush Blush in the shade Justify My Love. Just a little bit of it. Um, I really like the combination. And then I highlighted with the Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Gleam. And I used the shades Starburst and Starburst, Starburst and um, Crushed Pearl. So gorgeous. Like, it's so beautiful every time I use it. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Definer and Caramel and then set that with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I really am not going to fix my lip again. I really don't care if it's like sticking out more. And then for my lips, of course it takes me 10 million years to find a mirror in this bag. Um, mm, hold on. I primed them with the NYX Lip Primer. Oh my god, where's my mirror? Oh my god, I can never find a mirror. Like, Jesus, dude. It's amazing how I can never find anything in this freaking bag. And there's not even that much stuff in here. And I still, like, can't find anything in my bags, like, ever. Okay, I don't even see a mirror in here. Then I lined them with the um, MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Dervish, and then I filled them in with a lipstick that I've sworn that I hate. Um, it's not Jeffree Star, it's the Galactic Matte Lip Paint in the shade Sweet, because since I've been rotating so many of my pink lipsticks today, um, uh, this month I mean, I decided to uh, whip this out and use it today, and it's not that bad. Um, it it looks good right now, and then I topped it off with the NARS lip gloss in the shade Chelsea Girls. So, yeah, I gotta go now, so I will talk to you guys later, but, um, I mean, I'll just show you my makeup look tomorrow. I'm, like, so off right now, because I'm so pissed off that my boyfriend still hasn't texted me in, like, three hours. Um, but... What was I going to say about that? This still feels like the driest liquid lipstick I've ever put on my lips. It's even worse than the, um, Jouer liquid lipsticks. Like... Um, at least Petal de Rose, I know, like, goes on really nicely underneath a gloss, but yeah, I'm gonna go because I'm starving, so bye! Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. Today was a very long day, um, I actually ended up going out twice today because, um, I had plans to go out with one of my friends this morning for breakfast, and then we went shopping for her because she has an interview on Tuesday that she wanted me to help her pick out clothing. Um, she's my more older friend, like 10 years older than me, and um, she wanted me to help her pick out clothes for a job interview on Tuesday. So she offered to pay for my brunch and then go shopping with her, so it was really, really fun. We went to Cheesecake Factory. 
um, for brunch. I haven't been there in forever for brunch, and honestly, I really have been dying to go to brunch again there. It's been like four months already, so I'm like, I just want to, you know, have some brunch there. Like, the last time I was there with her was Chris, like a little bit before Christmas um, last year. So I was like, yeah, I guess I can suck it up now. It's been like four months, so... And I literally, like, haven't paid every single time I go because somebody else is always, like, offering to pay for me, which is so sweet. I'm so happy that my friends really do offer to do that for me. And then while I was out with Lisa around, like, 1.30, Becca texted me and finally asked me to hang out because I haven't seen her in a couple of weeks. But it wasn't a big deal. You know, it saves me money if I don't have to go out more. <laughs> and um, she told me she wanted to meet at the mall later and honestly I was kind of debating on not going because I had already went to my mall here and I had to go meet her at a different mall that's like 20 minutes away from me um but I was like you know what I might as well go because um I didn't really want to be here for dinner um even though I was really tired just my mom was coming home at like 4 30 and I just didn't want to deal with her so I just um, decided to go out basically by the time she got back. So I got, I went out a little bit before 4.30 and then I met her at the mall and we spent like, we spent like three hours there. I don't know how we end up doing that sometimes, but we spent like an hour and an hour in Hot Topic because she had so much hot cash to spend and she wanted to make sure she got what she wanted. And then we went to, um, the comic book store that we really love there. And then we went to, um... I think it was like the soap store and then we went to go eat food so um because we were both hungry around that time and I hadn't had dinner yet and I didn't really want to eat anything here I don't know I'm weird so yeah that was pretty much it um and then yesterday um I didn't even come on here and tell you guys my makeup look um, yesterday was Saturday, today's Sunday, because Saturdays I usually always spend with my boyfriend, and his parents were away yesterday, so, um, and Friday, and they come back today, so I went over his house yesterday, and spent the entire day there from, like, 3 till, like, 11 o'clock, and I just didn't wear makeup, because I was just taking a break from makeup, and he loves when I don't wear it, so literally all I wore was mascara, a little bit of brow gel, and a lipstick, I just threw on ColourPop, Slippy Stick, and Aquarius yesterday, I went to Ulta to pick up his face cream, and I just took it off after that, and then I just didn't wear any makeup yesterday. I just didn't feel like it, so. Um, but today, I did go with a lighter foundation and a little bit lighter eye makeup. I really like how the eye makeup turned out. I just didn't feel like doing eyeliner today, but I did line my waterline. So anyway, um, I primed my face with the, and I wore this uh, Free People shirt today. I just been have been working through these um, like pastel pink shirts that I have from Forever 21. I really love these shirts. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, so I wore this one today because, you know, these are just really easy to just wear with my friends and still be comfortable. So I primed my face with the Urban Decay, um, Quick Fix Makeup Priming Spray and the, um, Steal a One Step Corrector. And then I went in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation today. It looks so good still. Like, nothing shiny. It just looks dewy and fresh. It's just, it's such a beautiful foundation. I really love this foundation. And then I concealed with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer because uh, even though I use like two feuding brands right now on my face right now. I don't know why. Like, I kind of wanted to just wear both of the brands for some reason. There's a huge thing that happened with Too Faced and Tarte right now. I'll tell you guys in a minute. And then I concealed with the Tarte Aqua Sealer Concealer in the color Fair Lights because I finally got the right shade. It looks so nice under my eyes. Like, I really am impressed with how nice it looks under my eyes. It looks nice and natural. I really love this concealer. It looks natural, but it still covers really nicely, and it doesn't feel dry or crepey at all, and it just feels very hydrating underneath my eyes, so I am loving this concealer so far. And then I just set my face with the MAC Real Eyes Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium just to change it up a little bit. And then I primed my eyes with the um, Smashbox 24 Hour Base, and then went over that with the same uh, MAC powder and then I went in with ColourPop's Firefly of course as my transition shade and then I decided to use the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes palette today. I used a couple of the shades from this palette. I used Fuzzy Handcuffs in the Crease, 
excuse me, I'm burping. Then I darkened up the crease bar with lap dance, and then I used Voulez Vu on the outer corners. And then for the lid, I went in with an Urban Decay single shadow. I went in with one of the, uh, the only uh, single moon dust shadow that I own, and I went in with the shade Solstice. Because usually I always wear this shade when I wear this shirt, and it just, it's so pretty. So it was like perfect for this. And then for the brow bone, I used the shade um, in the buff from this palette. And then I used... Um, satin sheets from this palette on the inner corners and I really like how it turned out um even though there's not really too much purple in this shirt the colors really worked for the color on my lid and it kind of made it like a grayish purple which kind of is similar to what the colors are here so I think that it really worked and I really like how it turned out and then I went in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara on the top I didn't wear eyeliner because it was just too early in the morning for me to think about lining my eyes. I mean, it was 10 in the morning, so I really don't get up early anymore. I'm usually rolling out of bed at like 12 now since I don't work. Um, but since I was going out to breakfast with her, obviously I had to get up at, at like 10. So um, I just can't deal with eyeliner before 11 a.m. It's just like too much. <laughs> And the, unless I'm going out for like the whole day in like the city. If I'm going out with my friends, sometimes I'll, I just won't line my eyes. And then I concealed under my eyes with the Tarte Concealer and the MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Sacred Brightening Powder. Then I lined my waterline with the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Piggy Bank. I hope you can still see it. Yeah, I really like how it turned out. And then I went in with the MAC Zen Play Giga Black Lash. And then I bronzed up the skin with the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. Then I went in with the Urban Decay After Dark 8 Hour Blush in the shade Fetish. And then I went in with the Cover FX Illumina Illuminating Powder, I think it's called, or Illuminator. Something like that in the shade Moonlight. So pretty. Love this highlighter. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass at the Air Light Powder. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then for my brows, I accidentally forgot to fill them in this morning so I just went out without filling them in or putting brow gel on but they looked fine but then I almost forgot to do it again when I was leaving for the second time because I came home for like a half hour after I saw my friend in the morning and I came home for like an hour um to like have a snack and like go to the bathroom and stuff um and then I like ran back into the house before I left to just um, brush through my brows and set them with a spoolie so they would just look a little bit more normal. So I didn't really even fill in my brows today because I just was way too lazy and plus I had to leave at that point. So I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to put some brow gel there. Where's my phone? And then for my lips, I primed them with the NYX Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the um, MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Dervish because originally I thought I was going to be going in with a pink lipstick and then I decided to change it to like a mauve color. And then I filled them in with the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Queen Bee. And then I topped them off with the Marc Jacobs Liquid, I think it's Marc Jacobs Lip Lacquer, like the lip glosses in the shade Moon Glow. And I'm just obsessed with this combo. I really love the Too Faced Liquid Lipsticks, how smooth they look with lip glosses. Like, it's not wrinkly, nothing. It just looks really good. But... The thing about Too Faced is that um, they recently posted something on their Instagram, like Jared, the CEO, not the actual Instagram of Too Faced, but the brand owner posted <laughs> on his Instagram, which I think was so classless. But at the same time, Jeffree Star was the one that called out uh, Jared for saying this. And Jeffree Star is like the most classless person you could think of on social media, but... Oh, it's over here. I could have sworn I heard it go off. I guess the sound is still on. But anyway, um, basically Jared said to Tarte, he was like throwing major shade at Tarte for creating their unicorn collection and saying that, um, you know, um, there's no unicorns in the Amazon. And he had to point out on his Instagram that... Uh, the Unicorn Tears is the number one selling Too Faced lipstick at Ulta, and there's no unicorns in the Amazon. Basically meaning that uh, Too Faced was the first one to create unicorn-themed lipstick. Okay, dude, first of all, you have one item in your whole entire line that is named after a unicorn. One lipstick, okay? You don't have a whole entire collection, you have one lipstick. Tar created an entire collection of unicorns, and you don't see them, like, 
calling out Lime Crime, telling or Lime Crime calling them out, saying, "Oh, we were the inventors of unicorn lipstick." First off, nobody owns unicorns. There are going to be similar ideas in this industry, but are they trying to do what Kat Von D did when Kat Von D blatantly called out Makeup Revolution for duping her Shade and Light palette, which is a which was a blatant copy of her Shade and Light palette? That's totally different. Like, Jared, are you trying to have balls like Kat Von D? Because Kat Von D was absolutely right when she said that. Even though Kat Von D is friends with Too Faced, I'm st still going to support my girl. Even though Jeffree Star and Kat Von D don't really get along. But Jeffree Star doesn't really get along with anybody <laughs> in the beauty industry anymore. <coughs> but I just thought it was really messed up. I'm just like... I'm just getting really turned off by Too Faced now. It's really, really sad because they used to be my absolute favorite brand. And now they just keep on going downhill. And now all I feel like they uh, they care about is money from their customers and making money off of their line. Like, I don't feel like they care about any of the customers. And I feel like they don't even care about anybody on social media. I just feel like they just care about their... That they think that they're the most unique in the beauty world. So like, yes, you have cute packaging, and I love your packaging, and I love your products, but the fact that you're going to talk to Tarte Cosmetics like that when uh, no one else has come with like a f come out with like a full collection like that, and they didn't even come, they said that they didn't even come out with lipsticks. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm like, are you serious? You thought that you invented unicorn makeup because you didn't, and then Jeffree Star whips out... Lime Crime's unicorn lipsticks, and he's like, okay, let me just tell you, I hate the Lime Crime CEO, but bitch, Lime Crime was the first one to make unicorn lipsticks. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, I'm so over the beauty community drama. I'm just like, but at the same time, it's like you want, like, something to happen, but at the same time, it's just so, like, these beauty guru gossipers have something to talk about. But at the same time, it's just like, it's getting to be ridiculous. Like, at the same time, People are saying that the beauty industry, you know, is about beauty and it's about makeup and it's about making yourself look pretty and you're making yourself confident and making yourself express yourself with makeup. And now it's just becoming like this catty, mean girls mentality where everybody is out to get each other in this industry and nobody seems to want have to have fun with makeup anymore because it just has to see who can make the most money. And it's just ridiculous. So I just wanted to say that right now. Um... I'm probably going to make a whole rant video on brands I'm not really supporting anymore. I'm still really on the fence with Too Faced. I haven't went out and bought, like, their new releases that much. I was interested in trying out one of their new highlighters, but now I'm not really sure if I'm going to pick it up or not. Also because I don't really have the money to get more than, like, two more items from the 10% off sale from Sephora because I can't get anything else from the VIB sale because, unfortunately, I don't have any money right now. But, yeah. I'll see. So yeah, that's it. Bye.